We are incredibly honored to be joined by both the County Executive of Prince George's County and the President of Bowie State University. So I would like to begin by introducing them and a few words, um, asking them for a few words. So I'd first like to welcome Dr. Dr. Amin Tabro. Um, Dr. Amin Tabro has served as the 10th President of Bowie State University since July, 2017, bringing more than 30 years of diverse higher education leadership experience to the position. She is dedicated to building on the legacy and rich experience of the position, to the position. Oh my God, oh, Maryland's oldest historically black, uni black university with a strategic focus on ensuring the long-term viability of the institution. Um, she has been tapped to serve in multiple leadership roles, including the president's board of advisors on historically black colleges and universities and, and the governor's P20 leadership council of Maryland. She also sits on the board of directors of the Greater Prince George's Business Roundtable, the Prince George's County Chamber of Commerce, and the University of Maryland Capital Region Health. She serves as the vice chair of the board of directors for the Central Intercollegiate Athletic Association and is also a member of the board of trustees of the Strata Education Network. Dr. Bro, thank you so much for welcoming us to your beautiful university and I will yield the floor to you. Thank you, Dr. Klama. I am going to remove my mask. We have enough social distancing right here. So I want to be able to welcome you in the way that we love to welcome folks here with that warm, bright smile. It's very difficult to get across that smile underneath these masks. I've been told we should smile with our eyes. Uh, and so I've been doing that, but it is indeed my honor to welcome you to the oldest historically black college and university in the state of Maryland, Bowie State University. And thank you, Dr. Klima, for hosting today and for opening up today's meeting. It is indeed my honor to welcome you here today. Uh, I'm not sure who's in charge of weather, so no one claimed that responsibility, so I will claim that responsibility. I do hope you'll have a chance to get out to the campus and see the beautiful campus here in Prince George's County. Uh, it is lovely with the sun finally coming out and the colors are in full bloom. We are so pleased to welcome the Lunar Surface Innovation Consortium to Bowie State University, virtually and in person. And thank you to the organizers and sponsors for today's program. Welcome to Dr. Kleiman, thank you for opening up today. And welcome and thanks to the Science Application International Corporation, SAIC, our wonderful partners who are here today and also brought along our interns who they have hired. Thank you so very much for hiring our interns. And I'd like for our students who are in the room, would you please stand? I just saw both of our uh, students and please stand to be recognized. Or, uh, there, there they are over here. Please stand. We are so appreciative of our students and their hard work and perseverance. And I'm so pleased to announce that one of our students was just hired by SAIC on Friday, that's Tiona. Please give her a round of applause. And First thank you. What was that? The first of many. The first of many. Did you hear that across this room? I love that. That deserves a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you to Mark First and Yolanda Tully for your support for the program today and for our students on their journey to succeed and to live out their hopes and dreams in the workplace. And we so thank you for your partnership. And we're also pleased to see representatives here from NASA, Johns Hopkins, and all of our special guests and speakers in attendance for this very, very important meeting. We've partnered with so many of you here today, including Dr. Crystal Johnson from NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center and many, many others from NASA. And we are especially pleased to have with us the very special uh, guest who is returning. She's been here on our campus many, many times. Welcome back, County Executive Angela Also Brooks. Please give her a round of applause. <laughs> and I'd like to take a moment out to also acknowledge my own faculty and staff and the students across this campus who are part of the team leading the way during these very, very unique times delivering on the promise for access and affordability to quality education for our students. And as we say around here, racing to excellence. 
That is the name of our vision and our strategic plan for Bowie State University. And I'm so very fortunate to have such dedicated faculty and staff during these times when we face, as we all have, many challenges and uncertainties. But as you walk across the campus, and I do hope you will take time out to see our campus, 337 acres, I'm not asking you to walk at all, but just get out and about and enjoy this lovely day. Uh, but I would love for you to see more and more of our bright and talented students who uh, are moving through this academic year with outstanding support of the team of faculty and staff here. And thanks to each and every one of you for being a part of the program today and for paving the way for the creation of new knowledge, technologies, and efforts to heighten lunar exploration. We here at Bowie State University are so glad to host today's program in light, especially in light of the alignment of our strengths in STEM areas. For those who are just becoming acquainted with Bowie State University or being, uh, becoming reacquainted with BSU, I wanna give you just a bit of the background of who we are today. We have over 6,300 students and enrollment continues to grow. Did you hear me? Enrollment continues to grow. Not every university can say that. And I think that deserves a round of applause. BSU <laughs> is recognized as one of the top H 25 HBCUs in the country. BSU has been recognized as one of the top five Maryland universities for graduating African-Americans with baccalaureate degrees in nursing, biology, and computer and information sciences. And our cybersecurity programs are designated by the National Security Agency and the Department of Homeland Security as models of excellence. As you entered the campus today, I hope you pass by our newest building, the Entrepreneurship Living Learning Community, designed to support more students who want to live on campus. It has 557 new beds in the residential component. But more importantly, the ELLC helps to bridge learning environments from the classroom to the real world and provide greater learning opportunities inside and outside the classroom with programs provided by our Entrepreneurship Academy and the Bowie Business Innovation Center, a small business accelerator. That new facility, is part of a larger initiative to ensure the development of an entrepreneurial mindset for all of our students, helping them to create and innovate and to contribute back to any industry, business or government agency, or to create a product or to start a new business. And while BSU started over 150 years ago with a focus on preparing teachers, and we continue to do so today, we do so with new models in preparing our learners for today. But BSU is also home to 23 undergraduate majors, 35 masters and certificate programs and two doctoral de degrees. We recognize we are preparing students to live in a rapidly changing world. And Bowie State University is helping to ensure our graduates are prepared for the workforces of today and for tomorrow. We are so proud to partner with organizations here today and many others across industry, business, and government. And we welcome the opportunity to partner with many more of you. So once again, welcome to BSU, to Bowie State University, the first HBCU in the state of Maryland. It is now my pleasure to turn the program back over to Dr. Klimas and welcome, have a wonderful, wonderful meeting. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. All right, I would, oh, wait. You can't leave yet, I have flowers to you. Oh, thank you so very much. I did it, I didn't forget, it's amazing. I almost did that, no, okay. Now I would like to also welcome the uh, County Executive of Prince George's County, the Honorable Angela D. Alsobrooks. In November, 2018, Angela, a proud lifelong Prince Georgian, was elected as the eighth county executive for Prince George's County and the first woman to hold the position. Her administration is committed to providing a world-class education system, safe communities and a robust economy that creates jobs and opportunities for all and increases the commercial tax base to ensure residents are provided with the services they deserve. Um, may I welcome you to the podium? Thank you. 
Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I'm really pleased uh, to be here. You know, we still consider it a special honor to have the chance to be in person with each other. And so I'm really uh, honored to be able to be here this morning. And I want to thank Dr. Bro uh, for hosting us this morning. You know, you are today, and I hope you feel this, and I'm sure you do as you enter this beautiful campus, you are experiencing one of the jewels of Prince George's County today uh, here at Bowie State University. And you know, it is said that you can assess the strength of any institution by its leader. Uh, and in Dr. Bro, we have a dynamic leader who is uh, not only recognized here in Prince George's County, but you should know that you are experiencing a leader uh, who is recognized in the region. In fact, I had the pleasure yesterday of noticing in the Washington Business Journal that Dr. Bro has been recognized, it was announced yesterday as one of the top 100 leaders in the region. Uh, and so I think she was the most proud uh, to claim her here in Prince George's County. And so I want to welcome you to the fall meeting of the Lunar Surface Innovation Consortium. Over the next two days, we are excited that a nationwide alliance of experts from 500 universities, commercial companies, nonprofit research institutions, and government agencies, including NASA, will work to bring humanity closer to surviving and thriving in space. As the Prince George's County Executive, I have to tell you, I am so proud and so humbled to welcome you here to Prince George's County. Today, we gather at the Bowie State University. Uh, as Dr. Bro has already mentioned, this is one of the oldest historically Black universities in Maryland. Uh, and we are so proud that Dr. Bro has managed uh, to grow this university in a way that secures exciting new opportunities for our students. Many students from Bowie State have interned with NASA, working in programs like NASA's Exploration and In-Space Services and the On-Orbit Servicing, Assembly and Manufacturing Program. Um, I was especially pre pleased this morning to have an opportunity uh, to meet two of our students uh, who are working uh, one of whom is just told me she just has a new job also. Uh, and I want them to know that we are so very, very proud of you here in Prince George's County uh, and just so proud of the future that you're headed into. Um, I want to thank all of you for joining us this morning. And I especially want to thank the conference sponsor, SAIC, for their hard work and preparation in making this meeting possible. Over the next two days, experts from government, Industry and academia will exchange ideas that will help our nation and the world move closer towards a sustained presence on the moon. This group has already contributed so much to our understanding of what a sustained lunar presence would look like. This includes exciting advances in technology, like a better understanding of life support systems capable of working long term in the harsh lunar environment, necessary advances in communications technology and a better understanding of sustainable energy sources among hundreds of other new technologies. The problems your research address are often surprising, I have to tell you, to people like me. For example, I was very surprised to learn about the blight of lunar dust, how something as simple as dust could be so easily stirred up and problematic on the moon that Apollo 17 astronaut Gene Cernan noted I think we can overcome other physiological or physical or mechanical problems except dust. And I have to tell you, my instinct is simply to ask, well, Gene, if that's a problem, why didn't we just bring a broom? <laughs> well, the problems you address are often specific to the moon. Here on Earth, these technologies provide benefits that extend far beyond their intended use. NASA has a long record of technological discovery and technology transfer to the broader public. But more than that, NASA and the affiliated industry has conferred enormous benefits on our economy at the national level and locally where NASA operates. The NASA Goddard Spice Space Flight Center provides a tremendous economic benefit to Prince George's County. Across our state, NASA supports over 35,000 jobs. Here in our county, the Goddard Space Flight Center and the broader workforce represented by the Goddard Contractors Association support some of the most technologically advanced jobs in the world. We are so proud to have NASA in Prince George's County. We're proud to have projects like the new James Webb Space Telescope developed right here in our own backyard. 
and we are proud to offer NASA and the broader space industry a place to drive forward innovations that raise our prospects in space while also raising the communities where they operate here on Earth. Our county is focused on fostering greater economic development over the coming decade. We will foster the continued growth of NASA and the space industry here in Prince George's County for decades to come. And we know that proper economic development cannot happen without first investing in human development. Our investments in human development are all about knowledge and access. Prince Georgians, along with people across the country and around the world, deserve access to education that prepares them for life and inspires their intellectual curiosity. The same is true for access to essential services like healthy food, a safe place to live, healthcare, and so much more. We're focused on developing communities centrally along transit corridors to reduce problems of pollution and gridlock while preserving the natural character of the place we call home. Our plans for greater transit-oriented development take advantage of existing infrastructure along the Blue Line, part of Greater Washington's metro system to manage population growth. Uh, we're also creating a mix of housing options that are designed to provide families of any income a safe and convenient place to call home. We'll not also stop moving forward to give our children the buildings, the education, and the nurturing environment they need for a brighter future. When we invest in human development, we don't just make life better for the people we serve. We create a place where humanity may advance forward, expanding our understanding of our home, of each other, and yes, even our understanding of the stars. Today, I'm so proud to welcome you here. Because of the advances you work on every day for humanity and because of what you're, you're simply being here represents to Prince George's County, this truly is a great day. Our community is honored and humbled that you would host this conference here. And we are truly Prince George's proud to welcome you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful conference.